so uh, I have to record it separately, but it's fine. But anyway, we'll get going here. So uh, we're with Jamie Boyd here uh, for an episode that nobody asked for uh, of the Who Art Thou podcast. We'll, re- we'll be uh, reviewing random pieces of art, essentially. Nobody has asked for this, but uh, <laughs> we thought it'd be a good idea. Oh, like, Thanks for- <laughs> not a single person, man. Uh, do you know what's gas about this, man? Um, what? It's, it's one of those uh, drunken ideas. That, do you know when you, you're, it's two o'clock? You've, you've had it was a drunk idea that you came up with at two o'clock exactly <laughs> this is my thing so how many how many drunken yeah. ideas have, have people come up with through the years that have never seen uh, the fruition so at least we're yeah that's a good point actually 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 doing it um so that that's that's a shout out to all the, the drunken ideas that everyone's had <laughs> you know your dreams can't come true <laughs> or in this case all it right, could be a complete well, fucking disaster and it'll never get released. <laughs> now I have my wine here anyway. We're all good to go. Ooh, that's lovely wine, actually. Yeah, I've had a, a gin and tonic. I'm on gin and tonic, so I went, I went snobby. I'm drinking it with cucumbers today. <laughs> oh, very yeah, snobby. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> right, do you have the first image there? Do you have the PDF? Again, do you have I the have PDF, PDF the of- first image? have all of them in front of me yeah um, uh, okay okay so do you have the first image there <laughs> i have image number one uh, yeah so you just want me to go to town on this yeah yeah just describe just describe what you see okay. what you think again can i actually can i'm not gonna say- before i get going here um, yeah, go on. You've had a lot of creative and talented <laughs> people on on your podcast so far. Whatever, like ten or twelve of you've done. You you've got you've got the opposite of that on now. You've got <laughs> someone who has no understanding of anything to do with music, and certainly even less understanding of what the hell I'm looking at at the moment. So it's like, and I don't want to offend <laughs> anyone, but I am going to give my honest opinion of. Okay, so image one. Yes. Image one. Image number right. one. Okay, so it's so first thing it's screaming out at me is like, what's going on here? And like, um, <laughs> uh, so it's, it's very abstract, and I'm trying to understand what the what the first thing I'm thinking, a lot going on, you know, <laughs> um, a lot going on. So that's the first thing it's screaming out at me. You know, it, the usual yeah. me would probably just be like, ah, I, I'd move on. If if I was if I was in the, the gallery, to be honest, I'd be moving swiftly through any art gallery. Um, but <laughs> this, what's it trying to tell me? I can't wait to tell you what this is. By the way, <laughs> I know I know you can't. That's the thing. I mean, like, so this is, I, I don't know any of this. So it's it's very abstract, which probably is uh, is lost on me, like most art. But yeah, I'm getting so there's a cow. <laughs> <There's a cow. laughs> okay, I'm sensing a struggle like there's a struggle from this piece um, mm-hmm. there seems to be a cow trampling on them what it's trying to tell me I don't know other than this artist it's like they're laying it on top of each other. It's like it's almost like uh, do you know those, those uh, TV shows with like the, you go into the serial killers' homes and there's like postings of uh, newspaper clippings and like oh yeah yeah shit yeah, yeah, all yeah. over the walls. Char- That's Charlie what it Day feels like. And, it feels like um, it's always sunny. Yeah, that kind of thing. Or like you're like oh my god, this person's crazy. Or it's like uh, a child's scrapbook um, or a vision board where it's just like sticking on. I want to be a, a horse or a disjointed <laughs> bull. <laughs> Uh, so apologies to artists, whoever this is. I'm not a fan. I don't get. <laughs> do you want me to? Te- do you want me to tell you who it's by? Do I, should I guess? I mean, like, I probably like. I, I don't. Take, know take a guess. Take like, a guess. Who, like, okay. Okay. Like, uh, this is a Picasso I know painting. Five artists, man. <laughs> I was going to say Picasso. It's a Picasso painting. Uh, it's called Guernica. It was painted in 1937. Yeah, 1937. And basically uh, what it is, is it's a response. Guernica was a small 
um, town in the Basque region of Spain. Mm-hmm. And basically, when Hitler was um, when Hitler was pally with Franco, mm-hmm. and Franco was leading up his uprising, uh, Hitler was allowed to test his um, the planes, the Luftwaffe, on Guernica, test the the power of them. So they shelled this city that was mostly made up of women and children. The men had left because I think they were fighting off the war. So this is Picasso's response to it. They shelled the shit out of it. They killed everybody in it, basically. Just bombed it. So that's why it's as chaotic and messy as it actually is. Like, it's 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 literally... It, it's quite... It's it's weird because it, it's a, such a serious subject, but it's drawn like a child. I find like it's very childlike. And as you can, by the way, it's huge. So if you flick down to image number two there. Yeah, I was wondering on your PDF. Was, yeah. Okay, yeah. it's massive. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's huge, huge, huge painting. But that's what it is, basically. And it's funny, like I was trying to look for like symbolism and deep meanings in it. And Picasso himself went, there's no, there's no deep meaning in this. It's just a chaotic, horrible painting of a very, very, very horrible uh, event. And Picasso never came back to Spain while he was alive. Um, I think maybe... Where did he live most of the I think he lived in the States or maybe Italy or something. I actually don't... I don't know much about Picasso's personal life. But um, yeah, he he never went back to Spain while Franco was... While Franco was ruler. But it's... And that's why it's devoid of color as well, by the way. To really hammer home just... It's it's like it's... it's, Go on, sorry. It's... um, it's uh, it's exactly how it sounds. That is, it does sound like, um, uh, or no, it does look like something being trampled, the way Hitler yeah. was doing it with his, his blitz, blitzkrieg shit. And I'm glad I got it right because I was going to say Picasso, but I didn't want to say it. So it's like, okay, you're an idiot. That's <laughs> the only artist you know. Like, <laughs> no, I thought we'd start. I thought we'd start off with Picasso. Uh, yeah. Well, that's the first one. So like, it, like there's not really much to say about it, be, um, other than. Like the shapes are very kind of cubist. It's it's uh, like you can see a mother holding her child there on the left. Um, people just screaming. Yeah. It's it's a just it's a horrible, horrible, horrible painting. But that's that's the point of it. Basically, there's not really much more. To say he, is he that. painting all of this? That's a painting. Yeah, that's an oil painting. It looks like a drawing. And uh, just before like we go on to number Real pencils. Yeah, yeah. So we're moving on to image number two. So go to page number three on your uh, PDF there. Page number three. What you see. Piece, piece of art number two. So piece of art number three. Oh, piece of art exactly. number two. Exactly. Yeah. Piece of art number two. Uh, it's, it's a piece of art anyway. Uh, it's a couple in <laughs> an embrace. However, they are shrouded in, uh, in a bedsheet. So... What it appears to me is that they've they've got up, they both got dressed. You know, he's put a suit on, she's put on her dress. Both going off to work, <laughs> and then they're like, you know, what we'll do, we'll do the we'll do the beds, we'll change the sheets before we head out. And you know that like really tricky period where you're trying to get the corners into the corners and and you're trying oh to get yeah 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 yeah. The duvet yeah. In. They both got tangled. Horrible up. part of the process. <laughs> and uh, yeah, the, the artist just captured that moment of uh, just entanglement. And he's trying to make it look all, you know, you know, artistic and deep. Whereas, in fact, Mary and John have got stuck in a bedsheet and they're just a bit lost. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's a that's a, that's that's a good interpretation. Um, <laughs> have you noticed something about the wall? Yeah, the wall was interesting. That's the room. So this corner coming, yeah, the corner coming in. Um, it, it's framed really weird the way that wall's coming in, but I, I, I don't know what's going. On. Tell me what it is. Yeah, so, so this is uh, Rene Magritte. Um, he's a surrealist painter. Uh, he came to like. He, do you ever see? He did a very famous piece where it was like, um, I can't speak French, but it basically it was a picture of a pipe, and then underneath it in French it was, uh, "This is not a pipe." And the idea was that it's not a pipe; it's a picture of a pipe. That's he's th- this kind of stuff. And then he did like these. He uh, pr- he he was a wallpaper, so he used to create wallpaper by he would paint it by hand. So he has all these kind of like very famous paintings of where it's like a sky with men with umbrellas, just all scattered around different places. But basically, yeah, this is one of his pieces. It's called the Lovers Number no. Two. It was made in nineteen nineteen twenty eight or thirty eight. Sorry, I can't read my own writing. 
1928. But uh, yeah, it's just a weird painting. Basically, he was a surrealist he, painter. He just painted strange stuff. He did like he's, it's cool what's though. Surrealism? It's very surrealism is kind of like Dali, kind of like um out otherworldly and kind of like flipping reality on its head. So like a surreal, okay. surreal image basically. But the the thing that the, the funny thing is the thing that interests me most that I was looking at while I was while I was putting these together is that feckin' wall. <laughs> it's just like is are they is the room going this way or is it going that way? Um like uh, yeah, no, it's, it's, but, it's and also to look at. Yeah, it's really exactly. uncomfortable to look at. And the other thing to note as well is that you know you don't paint a room like that. Why would the two walls be a different colors? So like blue repre- represents like a calming nature red recommend uh would obviously be associated with anger so that's just another kind of little detail to um to, to be of note mm. but uh i like your interpretation more uh just caught up <laughs> of, of what this is of a, just, yeah just caught up just, just caught, caught up, up. <laughs> all, all rustled and bustled trying to just get out the door and get the sheets done like um it's yeah. funny though the reason why i picked it was because it's an image that i keep seeing people rip off um like portrayal of guilt are a band that i really like but they have an album cover that is literally it's like literally that. that but with plastic bags like just like that but it's plastic bags and they're in a, they're in a they're in a lake uh, i've seen a photographer recently rip it off for an art uh, for an art exhibition it's 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 a weird one um but yeah anyway but anyway it's definitely like an it, artist it, that people should check out yeah it's like from it, belgium it's, i think it's one of those bar it's one of those um everyone likes an old couple embrace photo for like an album of the couple's about to kiss yeah, yeah. just slap on something weird like a plastic bag like whatever that band was or like what this this person's doing it uh but that's the that's literally the intention there's there's nothing special about the image until you until you wrap their faces in a in a veil oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> just and just for that, some that reason sh- it just makes it 10 times as 10 yeah yeah, yeah. All right, so we'll go on to art uh, pick number four. Well, it's it's page number four, so um, uh, it'll be interesting to see what you think of this one. Instantly, I'm like, good luck. What is going on here? Do you know what I like about these pieces of art? I'm like, okay, these pieces of art, they're pretty, but... So I, describe, I describe for it, because bear oh, sorry, mind, this would be sorry, an let, audio let me, thing. So describe, describe yes, what you see. Sorry, sorry. So I am seeing... Um, uh, a coffee spill, but it's not coffee. It's like it's it's high high color. You know, we've got oranges and pinks, but basically there's been something spilled on a canvas, and it's now art. It does slightly have the shape of a bird, but I don't think they meant to do that. Um, <laughs> but yeah, there's some nice oranges and pinks, uh, a few greens and blues. Uh, but yeah, th- these pieces of art don't get it. Never will. Uh, and I'm sure you're going to tell me what this person is trying to do. But I'm not happy. No, I'm not actually going to. Sh- <laughs> I'm not going to show you how. I'm not going to tell you how. Um, what it is. What I'm going to do is, if you could go to the next slide uh-huh. and okay, click link. the click the link, and we'll both click it at the same time, so we're both we're both on the same page. Uh, I want to watch along with you. Com, like. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah. So hit play. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm good to go. And the music is very important, by the way. Okay. So describe as you're watching what's going on. A lady in uh, full black leading and top sits in a chair, white background, everything's white background. She's got massive heels on. She gets up and she picks up an orange smoothie. We've got the classic like Christian music. Orange smoothie, she's freaky looking. Um, Just lots of sipping smoothies, orange sipping smoothies. She's up again, she's up. Going for another orange smoothie. <laughs> I know they're not smoothie. Let's not say they're healthy. I'd say that it's like a it's milk. Sunrise. It's milk. It's oh, di- it's oh, it's it's, milk. it's dyed milk. Okay. The girls in the background behind the white block, they're still singing. Oh, leggings girl is getting down. Oh, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> no way! <laughs> oh, fuck it. oh my god! <laughs> uh, sorry to describe it. So that the lady is now throwing up what she just drank. <laughs> so she's throwing up orange onto a big, big, um, <laughs> big canvas. Oh my god! <laughs> so. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
still, yeah, she's still throwing up, so she's on orange. And all the while, we still have the the, 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 the two lady choir in the background. She sat back down, she's taking a break. Barry, this is insane. <laughs> so <laughs> this artist's name is this. This artist's name is Millie Brown. So uh, she came to she came to the kind of the public eye because um, uh, Lady Gaga was a big fan of her work. Uh, she Lady Gaga even wore a dress that Millie Brown actually vomited on uh, with this dyed milk. So she drinks dyed milk. She vomits. Um, very problematic artist. A lot of people say that it's uh, encourages bulimia, including Demi Lovato. Um, but what Millie Brown has to say of her art is, let me see. I have a little statement from her. Um, is that I don't have the statement. Oh, but basically she says that it's not problem. That's what people, that's what people say. It's just a thing that people say about her. But, um, uh, she basically, she claims that she's make making art with her body. Um, it's just a new form of kind of Jackson Pollock, um, splatter painting. But, um, I actually think it's kind of, I, I, I have to say there is something kind of genius about vomiting like milk because milk vomit is particularly bad. And then selling it oh, for like vile. thirty five thousand to some rich, so to some rich dude who will then display it in their house. They're displaying a piece of basically um, puked on paper in their house for fuck, and they, they, they cost a fortune as well. Um, I don't know if she's it's... still doing it. She's a, but this is the, this would go under performance art. Um, so oh, you no, can it's like if she, what she's doing it. It's you definitely can... a performance. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> this is the point I was going to say. This is the point I was going to say, Barrett was uh this kind of art i find hilarious because it's a splatter and uh, the way this this lady has got her splatter is very impressive but at the end of the day it's a big splatter and someone is going to pay 30 grand for it and i find that incredible and no, power, power to them uh try uh, the, the 30 grand i don't i think they go for a lot more than that okay. they're really really she's a really really famous but uh, paint well I don't know if she's in pro- uh, she still works now. I don't know what she's working on now at the moment, but that was what kind of blew her up. But um thing is that like this, this is this, whole, it comes if I do what? this, it doesn't get nine hundred and eighty-three thousand views on, on Instagram. It goes onto the dark web and it's no. onto some sort of kink kink platform. <laughs> <laughs> no, you'll be uh, you'll be on uh, I don't know if you ever see delusional artists on Reddit. That's where that will go. Yes, that would that would go. <laughs> yeah. But um, wow. it's it's it, like it, it always comes back to I remember having remember talking to Owen DeForge about this and it always comes back mm-hmm. to what my teacher would told me when I was in college was um, people always complain, you know, I could have done that. Like like I remember being with John and we were looking at a Jackson Pollock and he's like, I could have done that. I was like, yeah, but you weren't yes. the first to. You know, it, so mm-hmm. it comes back to that kind of thing. It's always that. Kind of, I I. I don't know if I like it or dislike it. I just think it's definitely interesting, and it does. It, I I loved your reaction to seeing what it was because you would know by the image. You would, but now you look go, yeah. look back at the painting now, and you'd be like, "That's yeah." Anyway, so we're on to. Uh... <laughs> Bar like it's. I, I don't get it. I like I, it's what she's doing. I just don't. <laughs> I don't like what, what's good about it, and how is it body art? And, or, sorry, no, performative art. Like I just. Well, because you're you're watching the performance of her making it. Yeah, but like it that just looks like down the side of Harcourt Street. <laughs> like it's I don't. It, <laughs> I don't see the artistic merit in it. Millie Bobby Brown. No, Millie Bobby Brown's like the No, Millie from, Brown. Millie Bobby Brown's the girl from Stranger Things. Yes, uh, <laughs> um No, don't get it. Won't ever get it. Okay, well we're pass. on to we're on it's to uh, slide. <laughs> it's a no for me, dog. Well, actually that's what, at, at the at the at the end, at the end, what we'll do is we'll we'll pretend you're a billionaire and we'll see which pieces of art you would buy. Okay. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's okay. Another, that's go good. to go okay. to go to image number six. It's slide number six. Slide six. Uh, this is cool. Uh, so it's uh, just a. Although the skeleton looks weird. So it's a skeleton head head mainly side on view. And he's smoking a doobie or a fag. But below him looks really weird. It doesn't look like your standard chest clavicle. Body I think shape. the arm is going. I think is the arm is going himself? over. It. Yeah, it's kind I of. I don't a, know. A, a it's, it's, it it does look strange though. 
Uh, yeah, no, it's cool. Um, it's it's painted. Um, I can't figure out, like I said, I can't figure out what's going on with the body. What does it make me feel? Uh, I always think people have photos with fags in their mouth and I'm like, what are you at? Like, <laughs> it's kind of yeah, like yeah. Gerard, especially Gerard the way that it's like smoke. hanging as well yeah but do you remember we, when we used to smoke i mean like i still smoke cigarettes now but like Jerry used to smoke when you're like 14 15 just look cool i feel like this scales uh, is doing yeah. to me. <laughs> well uh do you, can you guess who it's by no because i included clear. this i included yeah, this no. because i came across this today and i didn't um well, I've seen it before, but I, I was blown away by... I've seen the painting before because it's on the cover of a Chip Kid book. Um, but it's by uh, Vincent van Gogh, um, which is very, very uncharacteristically... Well, I think, anyway, against his other paintings. It doesn't look like it doesn't look like a van Gogh painting. Um, in my, like the, Obviously, the more famous ones. But supposedly, no, it was... Taste, it was um, go on. To the, the uneducated uh, art I... Well, for some reason, the way it's painted, maybe the background makes me recognize it from the Vince Van Gogh paintings I would have seen in history books when I was a kid. I don't know why. It's only after Ooh, you said it, Vince Van Gogh, I was like, I, was, I don't know what it is, but I, I, you know what it is? It's also the 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 blurriness of it. I understand that the paint that the photo yeah. is a bit blurry itself, but it it does look like Van Gogh's paintings were a bit blurry, weren't they? From memory. Well, he 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 let he lavished on paint, so yeah. like the, he used a crazy amount of texture and paint, and so you would never really get kind of a very um, super refined shape that you that you would be used to. Like re, like it didn't look that there's very very few painters at that time looked like what Van Gogh was doing. He didn't, you know, he never he never yeah. sold a single painting. That's um, what he, he proper think he like. sold. He, well, he had, like there was rumor. There's rumors that, uh, well, like they say that he might have committed suicide. Um, it's mainly believe, like he died broke, basically. Yeah, mm. um, he died from a gunshot wound to the stomach, I think. And I was the, the people say that it was um, a, a kid was playing with his gun and shot him, but he had a very miserable existence. He was a, he was in and out of um, like mental health he hospitals. Wasn't a happy dude. Who, which I uh, he wasn't a happy dude. He was a very 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 depressed but, dude, and he never so never mm. sold anything either. Why do we learn about Van Gogh? Do you know what I mean? Like, Jeremy Because, school, so, we, because we his didn't... style is so important. Okay. His style is so important um, to, to modern oh. art and just the way... And when was, when like, was everything he Everything was kind about... of like... 1930s. Hmm. Or 1920s. So that painting is called Skull, uh, Skull of a Skeleton with Burning Cigarette. And uh, it was painted... Oh, no, sorry. What are we talking about? 1920s, 1930s. 18, 1880s. Apologies, yeah, eighteen eighties, eighteen nineties would be Van Gogh, but it was painted as a satirical comment on conservative academic practices, because it was common to use live humans as models, and at the time, um, Van Gogh was in Belgium and Antwerp studying at the Royal Academy of Fine Arts, where he became bored. Um, but it was uh, you would go to classes where you would study skeletons and bodies to understand anatomy. And supposedly this was painted as a satirical comment on that, but that's that's what that painting is anyway. I saw it today and I was like, I just thought it'd be a little inclusion just because I thought it was so strange. But uh, we'll move on now to slide yeah. number seven. Beckett. I'm right, I'm tight. Oh, you knew who you knew who it was. Yeah, it's it's Beckett. Yeah, it's Samuel Beckett. Yeah, I have a sure I have a still of him in sitting above my bed, weirdly enough. Oh, of course you do. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> I came in, I don't know, I think it was, I can't remember who the other two are. I have two, three of them. Anyway, they're my, shout out John Fraser, great artist, and he has yeah, very yeah. cheap prints. Uh, this it's is cool. I do well. like this. Very nice prints. Here's a, here's a class. Uh, so shout out Mr. Fraser. Uh, this is cool. Is, is it, is, so it's a wee print and it's so, backish. Yeah. And it it's kind of scratchy and scribbled in and it's, yeah, it's, I like this one. So um, this is by uh, Louis Le Brocchi, who is uh, an extremely important uh, artist to Irish modern art. Um, he died in 2012. He was actually, he, uh, but these are known as like, uh, like my teacher called them his ghost paintings. Um, yeah, I see that. But uh, yeah, they're, they're, 
they're cool as fuck. I really like them. Um, but he was an Louis Le Brock, he was an incredibly important artist to modern art. He's painting uh, a family, which was a Cubist painting, I think, was one of the ones that was picked for like the national painting of Ireland. But um, yeah. yeah, he was very, he's just a prolific painter. But I just love this painting that he did of Beckett. So it was painted in uh, 1979. Uh, like Louis, like I'll tell you how famous Louis de Brock was. He got to the he got the key to the city to Dublin in two thousand and seven. So he was, um, but uh, oh yeah, I just there's life. something cool about it. Like it's just, yeah, yeah. oh really, yeah, <laughs> get the key to the city. Be awesome. Be so cool. Yeah. Speak. Um, if you want to go to slide number eight, you'll see another painting that he did. And tell I, me, I will. Tell me who I've, 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 that's I've one question. I've one question. I'm back at. How does he do it? So is he? How's he done to see the little like, scratchy in around the eyes? Like I would imagine that he skilled. does it with the car. I imagine he would do it with a palette knife. Um, so it would be like, yeah, but then yeah. let me see now. Actually, is it oil or is it acrylic? Um, just to be sure. Uh, I should have checked this before we started recording. But anyway, um, yeah, know your shit, girl. Come on. Man. So the sa- I know I'm so bad. It's in Emma at the moment, actually. Oh, that's pretty sweet. Um, the Irish Museum of Modern Oh Art. yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, uh, I got it. I was like, what the fuck is he saying there? I'm like, oh yes, yeah. yeah. Yeah, <laughs> where I'm trying to find now. We can cut all this out and just make me look smart at the end. Um, Samuel Beckett is oil. It's oil, so I would imagine he used a palette knife. So yeah, you would, scratch you would, it. Um, in. You scratch it in. Yeah, that's. I'd say that's how he does it. But if you go to slide number eight, you'll see another of Lou Labrocki's things. By the way, he did way more than just portraits. He did tons of shit. Like he, he was very much a man who was able to dabble into pretty much any kind of medium. But uh, if you go to image number eight, who do you think this is? That's fucking Bono, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's it's like this it's, like it's like this deity form of of Bono floating away into. It's fields. so odd looking, it's isn't so it? So weird, man. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> like the Beckett one before was cool, and because it's it's pronounced enough that it's it's very much the 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 whole picture or the whole story of the picture whereas this is like bono's like head after after he's in i've never watched marvel or any of the fucking movies but you know when they all there's some some scene in those (laughs) things but he does this click and they all float away as dust it's like yeah the the, the snap the snap yeah 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 Yeah, the snap yeah yeah, yeah. (laughs) it's such a weird painting like it's just so like for anybody can't see like i'm it's it's Bono's face in the middle, and you can you can clear. It, but he's like, um, it's like that. There's like five edges to each side of his head, uh, and it's it sits in this kind of like. I don't know how to describe it. It sits in this so the square, and then it's a small, just tiny image of Bono's head, like six different times in in the center of it. It's it's. And it's it so gives hot. me um, this photo. This, this gives me. <laughs> do, do you know Da Vinci's um. Da Vinci's perfect man, whatever it's called, you know, the perfect proportions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. His head reminds me of it, yeah. of it a bit as well. <laughs> Looks a bit like uh, it. Like. Yeah, I thought that was, yeah, it's, oh, it does actually. I know what, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, the the circle with the, 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 the four legs and the four arms. I forget what that's called myself, actually. But uh, yeah, 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 I thought yeah. that was a weird inclusion. There's a video, there's a video of Bono, um, going to see it for the first time which is really funny i should put, probably uh, p- include that into the youtube video so uh, if you want to go to the next uh, by the way louis Brock was oh yeah i said that he was irish so if you want to go to the next painting here uh, is, oh that's another louis this. was it yeah that was another that was okay. the same yeah same guy so go to slide number nine slide number nine okay a lot of effort gone in so <laughs> so a, a plus for efforts um <laughs> Uh, and like, 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 okay, what am I looking at? So it's colors, a couple of lines in it with curves. Gives me nothing. I am just looking at blocks of colors. And is there, is it trying to tell me anything? I feel like it's trying to shout something at me, but it's just, it's nah, nah, nah. Well, could you describe it to somebody? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Um, how do you I can't just go, I mean, nah, doesn't do it for me. <laughs> uh, gosh, how do I describe this? So it's uh, sort of a figure of, of eight, but then within the figures of each individual eight, that's what I'm seeing anyway, Barris. You can, you can tell me otherwise, but it's 
the only thing I'm noticing, okay, is the stuff that's going off into the background. Is in like it's, but besides that bar, I can't even describe it. It's just years ago. Okay. Do you want me to tell you what it is? So this tell is a painting is, yeah. by uh, May. Yeah, this is a painting by Maine and Jell- Maine and Jellet. So uh, Maine and Jellet and Evie Hone were two extremely important again um, modern Irish artists. Like, so this would be considered. Um, abstract kind of cubist art no not cubist abstract art but uh Manny Jella was the mm-hmm. first person one of the first people to ever exhibit abstract art in Ireland um so she kind of pushed that so she would study she would have studied under William Orpin and then when she went over to Paris with Evie Ho- Evie Home by the way extremely important uh artist as well her she did a lot of stained glass windows I think there's one in Trinity College there's one in the in Black Rock Church. Um, again, she was a, I think she was a, yeah, Cuba star. Black Rock Church, the Catholic Harden. one or, uh, or the Presbyterian one? The Catholic, uh, the Catholic ah. one. Or maybe the Presbyterian one. Ah. I don't, I don't no, know, actually. The, but, um, definitely the Presbyterian Yeah, it's not the, uh, <laughs> It's far too cheerful but, um, for the Presbyterian. Yeah, so, so Mani Jella was extremely, anyway, she was extremely important artist, just like Luda Brocky was, active in the 19th, 30s and 40s she died very young she died of pancreatic cancer in 1946 i think no she died at the age of 46 anyway so this painting is actually called um the virgin of era so Mm -hmm. what it is is that's the madonna in the center so can you see so there's a there's a there's there's a shape of a woman's head with a halo and then she's holding a child and she's blue Uh, in the center center Uh, okay you see that yeah Yeah, no i'm thinking kind of like womenly figures yeah yeah, yeah. So um, the the then if you look to the left and right of her, there's someone in green and there's someone in uh, pink and red and purple. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, one of them. The person in green is Saint Patrick, and then the person in red and purple is Saint Bridget. Okay, and for for the in case you the viewers were were confused, they were the figures of age I was describing. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, so I was when you said figures of eight, I was like, he doesn't even know what is going on in this image. <laughs> he hasn't a notion. <laughs> uh, so Paddy's on the I, left. I think it's a beautiful a knife, painting. Is what I'm seeing. I, uh, I don't think that. I don't think it's a knife. But <laughs> like, uh, you see what I mean? That blue, the the, the one with the Dublin colors. Yeah, I can see what you mean. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. It's Paddy swinging a knife on the left. Um. Uh, you think it's beautiful? I yeah. I think it's gorgeous. I think I think Mae Jellet's work would be. She's probably one of my favorite Irish artists. Her her work is beautiful. Like you should check check her stuff out when you're done. It's just so vibrant and so colorful, and I just I love the the forms and everything in it, which are all just buzzwords to say about any art piece. But that's that's what I'm gonna yeah, go no, with. That's they, I, 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 I heard I heard a lot of buzzwords there. Man. Yeah yeah. <laughs> A lot of buzzwords: form, <laughs> texture, composition. Do you know what though? Contrast. Do you know what? So <laughs> I was actually I was listening to uh, your podcast with Owen about earlier today, yeah. and it was about like 15, 20 minutes in. You were kind of getting into talking about stuff, and I was like, John, I actually need to turn this off because if I start saying things like even like acrylic and oil, <laughs> <laughs> like this, <laughs> anyone who knows like this guy's talking shit. You didn't know what the fuck he's saying. <laughs> <laughs> so like I started, I started hearing words like that, and I was like, I need to turn this off because otherwise, I'm I'm gonna co- I'm already coming off as an idiot, but I'm at least I'm not pretending to be something. I am just an idiot, is what. It, so yeah, I had to shut it all down. Hey, I'm not exact. I'm not exactly an art genius myself, anyway. But um, yeah, that's Manny Jedi. I th- I I really like her. Do you know stuff. what? I think it's. Do you know what? It, it is growing on me. It is growing on me. The more I kind of look at it. Yeah. Uh, well, the first time is, I saw her stuff, I went. Sorry, yeah. The first time I saw her stuff, I went, what the fuck is this? This is shit. Because it's just so... Mm. I am I was used to kind of like standard, you know, this looks like a person. And then when I was in school, my art teacher was like, you have to stop thinking of art as just that it, it that it has to look exactly like what it's meant to look like. Because it, 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 yeah. eventually it just gets boring. But um, yeah, yeah, we'll, yeah. we'll move on I've... to... We'll move on to the next slide, slide number 10 here. What are we going to say, actually, uh, before we move on? Do you have another? Do you have any closing remarks? <laughs> closing remarks. Uh, you've made a good case to make me like it more. I'm, I'm certainly appreciating um, everything that's going on here. Um, no. I, 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 the other point I was going to say is, um, yes, I'm still very much... I Things have to look like things, or otherwise I won't get it. <laughs> it just, <laughs> it just it goes straight out of my fucking head. <laughs> 
<laughs> All right. Well, we're on to uh, we're on to slide number ten here. If, if you can tell me what you think of this one, I'll be I do. I'm going to I'm tell, tell you what I tell, can see in number ten. List. I but I also want to make a gin and tonic. Oh yeah, work away. <laughs> so I have to I have to get up for this. Yeah. Well, 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 you can cut. We can we can cut this part out. Okay. Okay. Can I do that now? <laughs> yeah. Work, you work away. You get. Yeah. Yeah. Do that now. Give me two minutes. One minute. Six and a half hours later. Okay, we're back. So, do you have slide number 10 there in front of you? Of course I do. Now, this is a frozen head. A frozen head. Is this a painting or... um, uh, This is a sculpture. It is a painting. It's a sculpture. It's a sculpture. It's a a sculpture. Uh, Yeah, frozen head, bald dude. Something... Is his head blown out the back? It kind of looks like the back of his head. Uh, no, I think that's because of the cast that they would have used to to get the to get the shape of the bust. I think that that's has to be a real person's head, though. What do like, well? What do you think so, it's made of? Do you actually think it's a real person's head? I'm not. We can't. Not I wouldn't. Person. Bear in mind that I can't put this on YouTube because I can't show a severed head on fucking uh, on YouTube. Like. No, 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 no. I don't think it's. I don't think it's. A, I don't think it's a real person's head. But someone has stuck their head into uh, a mold. Oh yeah, it's a self portrait. <laughs> it's a self portrait. Um, self sculpture, like it's called. It's titled self. Well, it's definitely self number this, five. This... I think. <laughs> what else was he doing? Number four, one, two, three, and four. Like, how many times did that go? Like, well, no, because it's it's it. <laughs> he does them. He does them every five years. So his name. What do you think it's made of? Before I before I say. Uh, what do I think it's made of? Concrete, cement. No, no, no. Uh, I'll tell you now. So this is uh, this is uh, by an artist called Mark Quinn. Um, mm. He's a visual contemporary uh, artist. He's actually pretty cool, but this is a series that he does called the Self series, and um, this is how it, this is how it's made. Uh, so the self portrait is cast with ten pints of Quinn's frozen blood, described by the artist as a frozen movement of on life support. The work is carefully maintained in a refrigeration unit, uh, rem- reminding the viewer of the fragility of existence. The blood is pasteurized, but its appearance does change slightly during the sculpture's installation. The artist makes a new version of self every five years, each of which documents Quinn's own physical transformation and deterioration. The first version of self was made in 1991 and featured in Sensation, an exhibition of work from the collection of Charles Saatchi. But we're going to be talking about Charles Saatchi quite a bit um, later on. Held at the Royal Academy in 1997. So yeah, it's, 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 uh, it's, he does it, he does them every year. He does them every year. Uh, That's one of the latest ones. Um, The earlier ones, you can really see the actual blood on them but yeah they're made entirely from his own blood whoa that's intense i'd say he is an intense dude yeah <laughs> it's a cool it's it's, it's, it's my head, like. <laughs> yeah <laughs> uh, it's cool though isn't it? it's and it's so realistic looking as well yeah no it's 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 it's, it's um yeah no it's, it's incredibly an impeccable bust. <laughs> he's got a great yeah. head on him um <laughs> it's no, it, it looks incredibly real. It's mad that that's from his own blood. So th- these are th- these are the other things. So the, like, the, is this body art, performance art, whatever you want to call it? These ones, I just don't guess. Like, I'm just like, this is so, scu- this is just sculpture. I know, I know, but like that, the, the messing behind it, I'm just like, what's up? This is the fragility of life. No, you fucking <laughs> yanked a pint of blood out of you every couple of weeks, and you've you've stuck your head into a mold, you maniac. Ten pints, I think. Ten pints. Yeah, he's, not ten taking ten, he's not taking 10 at a time, is he? I had four to no, 10 pints of blood. Kill you. <laughs> 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 I did go oh, on Maureen's with the fry on. Let me know what Pint of Guinness after, you'd be grand. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, pint of Guinness, you'd be fine. Like. Yes. Yeah. What's his name? Mark Quinn. Mark Quinn. Mark yeah. Quinn's his name. Yeah, he's an uh, interesting guy. Uh, so we'll go on to <laughs> we'll go on to uh, slide number eleven now. And uh, let's slide you number this. eleven. Um, over section. There's only there's only six slides left. By the way. In Dicey's. <laughs> Straight away, not a what? <laughs> <laughs> 
so basically, by the way, this oh. is a this is an image of a man. Who, this is an image of a man. I'm going to do it now. This is an image of a man who was paint smeared all over his face. That's all it is. Yeah. Do you want to know? Yeah, like what's he what trying, do you think it? How, what's what, he trying what, to tell me? What medium? What medium do you think it was? Um, so what's it like? Was medium or? What's yeah, he, like what? Like it, it's, it's a photo. What's he trying it's to tell photograph, me? Photograph, yeah. It's a photograph, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a photograph, yeah, yeah, hundred percent. No, it's not. What? It's not a photograph. Wow, that makes it more painting. interesting. Okay, that that that's more impressive. <laughs> okay. Um, so his name is Eloy, Eloy Morales. This is um, a part of a series that he does called Paint in My Head. This is number six. That's an oil, oil on panel. It was painted in 2012. Um, yeah, it's a painting. And I've actually cool. seen this painting. Uh, I've seen this painting in person. Um, I saw it in Barcelona and we were at an exhibition, um, which we thought was a photography exhibition when we were going through it. And it wasn't, oh. for, it, it wasn't until I saw this painting uh, because nobody was reading, uh, it's funny, we were all college students, art students, and nobody was reading the actual, you know, oil on canvas. We were just in this random exhibition. But um, I spotted this painting and I'd actually seen it on Tumblr when I used Tumblr, like maybe like two weeks before. And I was like, holy fuck, mm. that's, and then I, then I was like, these are, and then we realized these are all, they're called hyperrealism is the, the term for them. But yeah, they're paintings. It's that's insane. incredible. Now the, the, what, what the thing is that I find about this, though, it is incredible that somebody is able to paint to that level of degree. It's actually, it's kind of insane. Like, especially mm, with oils, mm. I just don't know how people do it. But when you're at it, this is the problem that I have with this, is that when you're at an exhibition of it, you kind of just go, okay, you've done it once. It kind of yeah. gets boring after a while. Do you know what I mean? There's nothing really to it other than just, uh, in, like it, obviously it takes an unbelievably tremendous amount of skill, but I wouldn't yeah, be particularly, well, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't take really to see it. It's just, it's just amazing that somebody is able to paint like that. But then we're in a room with like five other painters were present uh, in this exhibition. No, they weren't there, but their work was there. And you're kind of going like, so wait, is it that impressive that there's more people that are able to do this? If he was the only one, it'd be really impressive. But you know, you know what I'm trying to get at anyway. I, I get but, you. Um, no, it's, I, 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 it's, yeah. Now that I see it, well, no. I, now that I realize it's a painting, it's incredibly impressive that he's he can do that. But you're right. Yeah. If if that's all he's doing, come on. What's his name? <laughs> Eloy Morales. Name? He's from. Come Spain. on, Eloy. Give me yeah. more. <laughs> Give me more, Eloy. Need a better second half from Eloy. Give me, give me. <laughs> yeah, it does. It's kind of I like. I know I'm repeating myself here, but it is kind of like. So what else you got? Do you know? Like it's yeah, after, yeah, like yeah, like yeah, it's yeah. it's yeah. But uh, I just thought I'd throw it in. He again, he was the last minute throw into the thing. I was just like, fuck it, we'll just see if Jamie can figure out. Now when I when I when I, th- when I thought yeah no I couldn't figure it out. When I thought it was a a picture, I was like, I hate this dude. I I, I want to smack <laughs> him right in the face. <laughs> and by the way, there right. we should point out that they are absolutely massive paintings. They're enormous. So to get the level of skill, so if you go to the next slide, you'll see. The size of how big they are. Yeah, I was looking at it. Yeah, 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 yeah. that's uh, no, it's it's incredibly impressive. Yeah, uh, no, it's it's push. ridiculously impressive, but it is kind of just like uh do something else. <laughs> I know it's do funny. I'm trying to like change. Um, <laughs> <laughs> show me your cock. <laughs> 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 see what we're I just want to see what kind of fucking magic you can work there. Like, <laughs> just chuck a lot of paint on it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Let's see what your Taj can do. Like, <laughs> all right. So we're going to go to uh, slide number thirteen. We're near the end zone now. Uh, we're in the Let end. me know what we're you think of this. <laughs> slide thirteen. It's it's. Uh, I want to say it's cute, but they're not. They're not cute. Uh, the baby on the right. No, is, sorry, sorry. sorry. So I described what it is. So it's it's uh, two babies, or at yeah. least like kind of toddler children. Um, kind of speckly painting. You know, it's not clean. It's all kind of blotchy, like skin tone colors, but all kind of blotchy. Kid on the left, not a fan. Kid on the right, you've got something. I think we could we, <laughs> we could do something with you. Um, but they're two headed. Oh my god! I just realized they're two headed children. There's there's only one body there. Are they joined at the head, kind of twins or whatever they're called? 
No, I think I actually think that it's it's painted in such a way to look like that, but I actually think that her head is just resting on your just one shoulder. Just resting on the shoulder, so it's not you know. Uh, yeah, but it, it does situation. look bizarre. It's uh, yeah. it's weird. Um, if I was to put it in my house, I'd put it somewhere where I didn't have to look at it too much. Well, you wouldn't fit it in your house. It's fucking enormous. <laughs> well, well, speak for yourself, Bats. The, the next have a fucking massive. <laughs> The next slide. The next slide shows you how big it is. Oh yes, there it is. Oh, it is massive. Now, um, yeah, we. So this person this, does now this body is this is stuff. This is the one of my favorite artists. This is um, uh, Jenny Savile. Um, so mm-hmm. she's a she. She was a big, a big, in the, huge in the nineties. She, well, she's still massive, but she was part of this uh, group called the Young British Artists, which was like uh, Tracy Emin. Um, Damien Hurst and uh, there's a, there's a bunch of other ones. Um, I think Anthony Gorm, not Anthony Gormley, your man who did the Angel in the North. Is it Anthony Gormley? But anyway, so very, 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 uh, and Charles Sachi was one of the people that bought a lot of work. Man. You have no, I was about to say, you have no idea what I'm even talking about. But um, like, she, why are you even saying this to me? <laughs> Well, there's because other people might listen to it, but uh, no, no, I know. Um, I mean, as um, so, I mean, is it yeah. asking me as if do you know? Oh, Anthony Gorman is like, oh, man, you could literally say potato, potato. Like, yeah, that's the dude. <laughs> no, I know what you're but, saying. But uh, she, so I came across, I came across her because when I was in uh, NCD, I was doing a project on, um, I was trying to do a project, our project on mental health mm-hmm. awareness for bulimia and anorexia and i was trying to come across our artists who focus on body image so she did this gorgeous thing where she lay flat on plexiglass naked and somebody photoshopped and you kind of see all the folds and everything um yeah, yeah. but basically she's an artist who's completely focused on kind of like the flesh basically and um like body forms and stuff um this is the only painting that i could show actually that didn't feature nudity because i don't know if you can show nudity on the uh, <laughs> on youtube but um, even if it is an art piece, but um, she's pretty good. Like her work is, I would try to kind of visceral um, and aggressive. And she was obsessed with, uh, she used to keep uh, clippings of surgical uh, procedures and operations under her desk. She was obsessed with surgeries. But if you look at some of her later, if some of her, her other work, very, very, very violent kind of uh, these heavy paint splashes on it. And they're they're very ominous looking as well, but there's something kind of pretty as well. But this is, this is uh, my favorite works that she does is the ones that she does with her kids. So I'm pretty sure um, this is a self portrait like of her and her child. Oh, no, I'm pretty sure you slag. I think I think that's her. I think that's her to the okay. left, <laughs> okay. and then that's her kid <laughs> on her. So. Like her but she has like this. She has this. Um, she has this lovely painting called the Mother, where it's like um, she's holding her two kids. One of them is naked, um, but it's like done as like it's. Uh, framed as if it's like the old madonna paintings that you would see in catholic churches and Mm -hmm. uh yeah she's just a cool she's just a cool artist i would highly recommend checking her out but um i just love the textures that she uses in her work like even if you look at the kid's head just from the side from the eye downwards that white thing it's just it looks like almost like it's a mask put on it um and then just her it's they're so they're really bizarre paintings and i've never seen her work in person they really yeah i've never seen never seen her never seen her work in person would love to hopefully i can go see something when all this covid shit's over but yeah that's jenny savile highly recommend um and then we'll move on to another young Br- actually no i won't say but uh slide if you go to slide okay. number, uh, here we go <laughs> fifth, sli- slide number 15 We've this got is going to be one in a fish that tank. i can <laughs> Uh, okay so it's a cow in a fish tank i don't know if it is a real cow the shapes it's a real cow fuck off cow. is this it's a weird looking yeah. cow to be honest but uh yeah no we've got go, cows. go to go to go to your next slide go to your next slide ah ew weird <laughs> I, say, like, I don't so, get this okay so like i like I don't get this, and I actually put this in because I fucking hate this. So if you can describe, for people who Sorry, actually listen, to for people who are yeah. aware of modern art, yeah, for people who are aware of modern art, they're going to know who this is, and he's one of the most contestedly hated and loved artists at the moment but um yeah go, jamie work away and describe what you're seeing at the moment sorry so, for across so, you, so sorry yeah. first image is uh full size well it's a cow and it appears to be a calf in 
a fish tank that's filled with if for all our male friends out there the do you know barbicide that are all the like the the barber utensils are kept yeah. in while you're at the barber it's like that blue color and then the next image shows that animal cut in half and there's a lady who looks british she just does um standing in between <laughs> looking at this split in half carcass um, so yeah the, the, they're, the they're 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 in these they're in these white frames so they're in these white kind of like industrial like frames and it's a cow, basically what it is it's a cow dissected down the half and then the each half is in its own frame but they give enough space that you're able to walk through the middle of it and see the innards basically of the cow on both sides at the same time it's, so uh and like you can see it they have they have a museum it as, like that and in sorry there's a museum like that in in like vietnam or thailand where they just have like monkeys yeah, in the, a jar but the bots yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a body exhibition that came to Ireland did it as well, but they did it with real people. Oh, but it's yeah, uh, it, yeah, but it's yeah, yeah. it's there's a the, and it's it's to be noted that there's also it's a calf and a cow, like a mother cow. Uh, there's two there's two versions of it. So there's a calf dissected and they're beside each other. So um, <laughs> this is a work by Damien Hirst. That so Damien Hirst is um, basically he's another he was part of the young British artists. He, him and Charles Saatchi were good mates for a while. Charles Saatchi, so he basically, by the way, he's one of these artists, he fucking exploded uh, in the 90s and early 90s. He made a, he made a ton of, ton of, ton of, ton of money. So this piece this is called kind of Mother stuff. and, Ch- for this, for the, for tons of different shit. Like there was one, it was like a cow's head with a bunch of flies on it. Um, he, there was like, there was other one where he got like a skull. I don't even know if it was a real skull. I think it was a novelty skull and then just, did a load of just chucked a load of paint on it and then sold that for like three hundred fifty thousand. Um, he did it with a sheep. He famously put a shark in formaldehyde and submitted that as a piece of art. Um, he this is this is the type of modern art that I personally don't get. This is this is when I go kind of mad. But some people really really love him and some people really really hate him. For me, like it's called Mother and Child Divided, which is kind of like um, a play on the term of uh, like because. Damien Hirst went to Catholic school. It's it's thought that this is a good play on the idea that um, you know the the again Madonna paintings. There's a lot of Madonna paintings in this mother and child, the old Catholic school paintings from Renaissance. Yeah, if you got but, issues, uh, he bro, describes this. He... Oh, my dad, my dad. but uh, <laughs> but uh, but uh, <laughs> but, uh <laughs> but um, dad is very Catholic, but uh, no, it's he's incredibly Catholic. It's just happy to go this. Yeah, he's super Catholic. That is that is known as Catholic man around the neighborhood, but um, but <laughs> he's not. You're but, always uh, screaming at me. I am the Catholic man. <laughs> I am the Catholic man. <laughs> the Pope ain't got nothing on me. No, but he's uh, oh, he's he's got he's gonna listen to the anyway. Um, no. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, Dad, so why don't you listen to my Hirst podcast? <laughs> It's really good. It's the ninth most listened to music industry podcast in Ireland. Super creative. Uh, creative friends. Love me, Dad, please. It's never awkward. Um, we, uh, so he describes, this is what he describes as the splitting of the cows. Um, he says, uh, explain the cutting. He did it with sheep as well. So he goes, uh, like creating emotion scientifically, what, what do you do if an animal is symmetrical? You cut it in half and you can see what's inside and outside simultaneously. It's beautiful. The only problem is now that it's dead. No shit. Uh, in a way, you understand more about living people by dealing with dead people. It's sad, but you feel more. Uh, viewers should be intrigued. The work should attract you and repel you at the same time. Cows are the most slaughtered animal ever. I see them as death objects, walking food. What's sad is that if you look at my cows cut up in formaldehyde, they have more personality than cows walking about in fields. I would argue that that's complete bullshit. <laughs> uh, these I'd have agree. no, I don't think they have any, I don't think they have any personality whatsoever. And like, I'm not vegan, I'm not vegetarian, I do eat meat, but I find the idea of um, dissecting something and displaying it in such a way as an art piece and then trying to say that it's beautiful um it's kind of like i feel this is just trying to be um what do you call it uh controversial for the sake of being controversial there's no there's no idea behind any of this to be honest no i don't think um, so either like i like i like and i am trying to use my big big art degree brain to kind of wrap my head around it but i don't think there's any merit or 
or um no it's it's, it's, bru- it's, it's, it's brutal for and i don't think it's actually doing anything and he's he's uh, it's, yeah it's just harsh to look at and you're like okay cool this is the inside of a cow and you're describing it as a nah Nah, like I but some work, some work. It can be harsh, like like uh, like Goya had really like really horrible paintings, like and so, so Rembrandt, no, not Rembrandt. Yeah, but you're saying paintings, like some not, harsh, not chopping a cow in half and chains. What's well, what even like, but even pieces of art, like you know, you can look at something and it'd be disgusting. Like um, like Francis Bacon's studio is fucking manky looking, but it's still cool to look at, and it's kind of a met that you can kind of. Out of looking even at a studio, I know a studio is not an art piece. He never submitted his like, but even something like Tracy Emmons' bed, for instance, right? She was part of the young British artists. Was she? She went through a, a bout of heavy, heavy, heavy depression, and what she did for mm-hmm. an art piece was she submitted her bed that she never left for two weeks. So there was dirty underwear on it. There was uh, oh. tampons. There was condoms next to it. It was really disgusting. But it was kind of like you look at it and you kind of instantly get what is the message. And I'm not saying like every art piece has to have a message, but for me, this is just, I th- this is just contrarian for the sake of being contrarian. There's nothing. Does there's nothing not to have this. to have a message? Um, no, not all the no? time. Okay. It can be just, can, okay. no, no. Well, it depends what it depends. You talk. I don't think it does like, um, say for instance, like, uh, what you call it? Eloy Morales. His art doesn't have a message. Neither does. I don't think the the busts by Mark Quinn self have, a particular message behind them they're just busts of his head but uh i think i've i just i think this is and people people do love damien hurst but some people really hate him i just i just think this is just um nasty for the sake of nastiness i don't see the i don't see the 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 artistic merit of just slicing a cow in half Baz, and then giving it a title like giving it a title like mother and child divided as well like it's some comment on catholicism i don't know but, yeah, uh, yeah, 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 that's yeah, Damien yeah, Hurst. Yeah, I've looked him up, and he's got I'm those, glad those art, art gallery glasses. I, I don't like his face. <laughs> yeah, like he was, he was apparently really big friends with Charles Saatchi. So if you ever heard of the Saatchi Gallery, it's one of the most prestigious um, art galleries in the world. Um, but they had a I'm falling googling. out in like I'm 2003 googling. or something. Yeah, but it was, uh, it was a big deal to get into the Saatchi Gallery. But um, Damien Hurst was one of these artists that uh, blew up in the 90s. But um, yeah, I I don't get them, and I do like. There's a lot of the of that young British artists movement that I really like. I don't like Damien Hirst's stuff, except for for, for, for for actually for a bizarre reason, he did something for the up in the air music video for um, Thirty Seconds to Mars. It was an art installation that I actually oh. kind of liked, and he also he actually did a really good one where he did um, I can't remember what it was called, but it was a a giant um, ashtray. I think it's just called Ashtray that had like a bunch of um, packets and of, of smoked cigarettes and it was in the middle of it. It was really, okay. I thought it was pretty cool. This, Yeah, that I thought that was pretty cool. Mm. But this type of shit, no, don't. I don't, I don't vibe no. with this at all. But I was interested Barris, in what you said, your take you said, some, you said something there. Yeah, no, I don't like it. But you said something there, you know, the, the 90s art thing. You've said it a couple of times. Is not, was 90s art like 90s fashion and music? Do you know, do you know when you think of 90s fashion and music, you think like, just In fucking sync, nuts. boy bands not loud and no weird and no not well it was really everywhere. weird it was it was really weird i was actually i was going to put tracy emin on today but i was thinking that if this episode goes really well that we'll leave her for I think it will. the next time what i think it will but um 90s art was 90s art was kind of like 90s art was kind of very much um like really testing people so like uh-huh. uh, there was another artist that I wanted to put on. So like um, he was the um, the designer for Metallica's album Load, and he mm. he would do stuff. I can't remember his name now, but he would do stuff with like his comb and his blood, and all this kind of carry on. Like they were just because Jesus you man. have to bear in mind you have to bear in mind on um, plexiglass. You have to bear in mind like art is kind of one of these things that like, gets ever changing, but you can't really do something that's already been done before because it's just yeah, boring. Is that not like really, a... So people work. People were constantly like trying to nothing. come up with, yeah, kind of, yeah. They're kind of, kind of come up with, you have to come up with ways that of something that's never been done before to be interesting. But that's not to say like there's, there's artists now that are, that are um, making just paintings and they're beautiful. Like Owen DeForge is a p- p- primary example. Mm. They're paintings. Paintings have been done before, but he's fucking around with textures, canvases, like it's painting, but it is, it's new looking, it's gorgeous and that's you have to just try and bring something new constantly if if you want to kind of remain relevant i think and you have to do it well yeah, yeah. No, yeah that, that's, the 90s yeah, I, it sounds hard like as in the way you're describing it is it, it is hard 
like you, you gotta do Chief something was cool. even, yeah no basically you have to um i think i think within the 90s they were just like okay let's try and make uh, not all the time by the way but just let's let's really push the boundaries of of new ideas um like tracy emin herself said that big brother was a major yeah, but... inspiration for her work because that was a new concept of, of new form of tv like and that was a big 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 thing in her work i think like well, the 90s like, is um... a bit of that like there, there is there's there is a lot of stuff being pushed in the 90s like reality yeah. tv big brother the music is so awful but it's pushing it like you think of bands like well sure like black business. metal for instance is yeah 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 yeah, yeah. like you know what and i mean like, like um... it's awful music but it's it's pushing it or blending yeah blending it was super and stuff like that. yeah 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 like and like then you have like but there's also forms of like 90s stuff that are kind of like uh loveless the album by my bloody valentine that would you can you mm-hmm. wouldn't be you wouldn't release an album like that now it's but it sounds like a very much a 90s album like the melancholy that is associated with and like 90s were 90s were big for like there was the, i always associate 90s with um uh like melancholy um kind of uh just dark moody stuff and just heroin is the other thing and Heavy cocaine use is what I associate the '90s with. <laughs> Yeehaw, giddy up like. <laughs> In terms of art, anyway. Um, but uh, we'll move on to the final piece of the of the slideshow I've, here now. I have so, one but... question for you, Bar, that we will get to. Yeah, Sorry, work I'm away. Be interviewing you at some point. Will I do it now or at the end? No, do it now. Go on, do it now. Technology, right? So, right. Music, music is influenced by the advancement of technology, you know, how people can make stuff and, and the availability of new instruments and stuff like that and what they can yep, mix. Yep, yep, does yep, art, yep. art, uh, just... does art, uh, is art influenced by techno- technological advancements or is it? Oh, absolutely. It, absolutely. Even the traditional forms of art, you know, paintings, stuff like that. Um, Maybe not painting, but I think it was kind of like, like I'm not I'm not an expert on any of this, but I would say that like early like Renaissance and all that kind of stuff, they only really had the mediums to do rock and painting, like stone and paints. There wasn't really anything kind mm. of pushing that. Like, but in the '90s, I suppose like like say for in, his prime example is um, oh what's his name? Oh uh, Andy Warhol. Hey. Andy Warhol popularized oh, yeah. p- popularized pop art. And the idea of like manufacturing art, like this idea of manufacturing stuff, that was that was a tech. I would say that mm-hmm. was inspired by technology, like mass mass uh, pop culture, mass producing stuff. Like Andy Warhol didn't specific, like he didn't make his pieces. He had he had a studio known as the Factory, where people would come and they would they, uh. the artists like what, and they would make it. They would mass produce it for him, but he didn't sit there tinkering with it himself. Like welding or anything like that, he didn't do any of that. So he was kind of a uh, he might have done capitalist. Is in like kind of in a way, I suppose. Yeah. yeah, interesting. Like how many? How many? Pay, how many? Head, I don't know. My if... understanding of sorry. <laughs> yeah, no, go on. Like, sorry, my understanding uh, no, of Andy Warhol would be like this kind of you know typical artistic. Uh, yeah, the typical artistic dude that was tinkering away and stuff like that. You saying he's more actually kind of mass production? That's what he did. He popularized. Well, you know, he did come up with he 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 one hundred percent came up with the ideas. Like when if you go into the NCD library, like Andy Warhol is supposedly for twentieth century art and modern art is mm. unbelievably important. There's literally NCD have one of the best art libraries in Europe, I think, and there's an entire row of books just for uh, for uh, Andy. Andy Warhol, not Anthony Gormley, Andy Warhol. And there's also an entire row for Picasso. But um, Andy Warhol, yeah, he kind of, uh, he kind of revolutionized this idea of like, pr- like prints were the big one. Like the, I remember, I don't know if, if you remember in the nineties, you'd go into any kind of room and they always had the, like either the Madonna prints or some kind of like yeah, parody yeah, yeah, of it. Yeah, yeah. Like, you know, the, fl- yeah. It was, no, it wasn't yeah. Madonna. It was, sorry, Marlon Monroe. But um, yeah, he kind of popularized the like mass production of, of like prints were the big one. Like the, the Cam- Campbell's Campbell soup. Do you remember that one? The the, the uh, yeah, yeah, print yeah, of yeah. a that's him as well. Um, one of one of my actually he, one of my favorite pieces by him was uh, it's a really weird one. I was showing it. I was I remember showing it in a lecture, and it's uh, he did a video of people kissing. Mm-hmm. So it was just a it was just a short film of just people, or it was a full on film of just people kissing. But now I don't know if this is true. 
or not but i was told in the lecture that he actually died a virgin and i don't know how that's true because he was ha, what a nerd part of this scene he was part of the scene with like he, like this heavy kind of sexualized scene this kind of free love scene in the and so i don't know if that's 100 i don't think that i don't think it's true but if it is true it's kind of interesting that he would do a short film on people kissing um but yeah he wouldn't be my cup of tea now to be honest i do i do like um what was patty smith's boyfriend's name I, can't, I don't know why right, Robert Mapplethorpe the... that'd be kind of the artist of that area that I really really like wait you don't know you did haven't you, a clue did... what I'm talking about <laughs> no 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 no. That, this is my point this is the point I'm going to make did you notice the the contrasting elements of this podcast or whatever or whatever you want to call this is so you're describing Andy Warhol and his like his inspirations and, and the crowd he had and you're like oh you might have been a virgin I was like ha nerd <laughs> that's, that's, that's all I'm listening to <laughs> <laughs> Literally all of that. and you're like picking up the tiny things and, I had that. and it's really interesting he made this this uh, kissing video and i'm like ah, a loser <laughs> <laughs> yeah <Welcome> uh... <laughs> <laughs> so we'll go <laughs> sorry i have to take a break uh we'll go with the final slide of the of the uh of the yes let's here. yeah let's see what you final think slide 16 15 and uh, lord of the rings straight away i'm thinking um and i don't know if it is sorry so what we're looking at is very dramatic scene um it looks like lord of the rings fan art um on the right you've big tall big oh it's a mirror is it a mirror uh this giant uh, kind of mirror it's shape it's with, interesting that you say that something it's a coming out of it um yeah big kind of is there something to do with death as well, Bar? Like this, this figure holding the mirror up and something's coming through it. I'm also I thinking philosophers, Voldemort and Philosopher's Stone. Uh, do you know I, Professor Quirrell and the, and the head coming out the yeah, back yeah. of his head? Yeah, it's Professor um, Quirrell, everybody. So, <laughs> so <laughs> this is this is this is my this is actually my current favorite artist. Um, mm-hmm. His name is. Uh, Mariusz Mariu, uh, Libanowski, he's Polish, um, not to be confused with the footballer. Um, and he's basically, uh, so there was a there was a painter that I like called Zlitz, um, Z- oh, I can't, I can never pronounce his name. Bikinski, B- Bizinski was his name, but he was, uh, he was known as the nightmare artist and he painted literal paintings that came out of his nightmares. But uh, this guy's kind of like a continuation of his work. He clearly loves that style. But uh, these, I always get kind of book of revelation vibes out of this kind of stuff. But I yeah, started noticing his work more and more. Yeah, it's really dramatic. But I started noticing his work more and more because um, he uh, his art is being used for metal covers. So I, that, this is actually yeah, called, this painting manly. is called uh, this painting is called Essence of Freedom. It was painted in 2017, um, and it's interesting to say that it's a mirror because a band called Bell Witch, who are a doom doom metal band. Mm. Or sludge metal band they have an album called mirror reaper and they use this as the album cover and like i don't know if you've ever seen that hoodie that i wear of like the the guy coming out I over the mountains it's this kind of like apocalypse you ignore all of them that's that's again that's this, this guy called psychroptic which is uh psychroptic are the name of the band and uh the it, it's it's he, he's an album for as the kingdom drowns and uh as the yeah, as the kingdom drowns. Yeah, and then um, he, his another work again that was used was he ha- he did the artwork for the album Karn by Mismore, which in my opinion is one of the best pieces of artwork ever used in an album cover. But he basically paints. They're kind of they're very dreamy. Uh, they're very book of revelation. Mm. That's that's the vibe that I get. They're quite kind of I would say I wouldn't say satanic, but um, I just love them and I, th- I a think little bit. I love they're this. A little bit. They're a little a little bit maybe, but um, yeah. I love the idea that they're kind of like traditionally painted like if you you could imagine somebody painting this um in the 1800s or the 1600s like it it just the, there's something very traditional looking about it but it's still very apocalyptic very dramatic like the idea like look the being that's coming out of that fucking thing is enormous and then you can see in the bottom left for the size there's a man there and i think there are headstones coming you know out what? of the thing at the bottom as well do you know what's really catching my eye? The fire on the hill on the left. Yeah, I don't get that bonfire. either. I don't know why that's there. A yeah. campfire. It remi- it's a very Dark there. Souls looking, actually, now that now that I think about it. If you ever play Dark Souls and there's bonfires. I've seen I've seen well. Mark Yeah, 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 yeah. But um, yeah, this was I I love this artist. I really do. Um 
and he was actually the reason why I started buying canvases and a bunch of oil paintings. I, w- I want it sounds really c- kind of cringy, but I want to do stuff like this. I just don't think I have the darkness in me to paint something as evil looking as this. But uh, <laughs> we're going to find out anyway. I just think it's like there's something there's something kind of beautiful looking about it, but also kind of like, oh, what the fuck? But I uh, know he's an it amazing is, artist. Cool. Marries. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's uh, but it is very like I said, I must, hellish. There's a very hellish, and uh, I must send it to you. There's what I get to the suggested part of my Instagram. I got a load of Lord of the Rings fan art, and it looks like this <laughs> stuff. Oh, it's really? Odd. Okay, odd you need to send yeah, it to yeah. me. Big dramatic stuff. Um, big I didn't think I didn't take about, you like, for a big Frodo and Sam. I didn't take uh, you for a Lord of the Rings fan. Uh, no, neither did I. But Instagram things <laughs> seems to think so. Like, <laughs> I mean, like I love, like I love the Lord of the Rings, but like not like the movies and stuff. Not any more than than that. But uh, no, my my algorithm is telling me I fucking love Lord of the Rings. So I trust the algorithm. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Well. uh... Jamie, I don't really have anything else for you. Uh, so, oh, what we'll do now is we'll go back through the slide and you tell me pick my... which ones you would buy, which ones you'd buy if you had yeah, the money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can buy you can buy as much as you want. You don't have to buy all of them. So we'll go back to Guernica to by Pablo. You don't have to buy all of them. You don't have to buy any of them. If you don't, uh, if you don't like any of them, you don't have to buy them. So we'll go back to the very first one. Would you buy Guernica? No, by Picasso, by Pablo Picasso. You wouldn't buy Bert Gurney, but yeah, no, Picasso. Would you buy the you, lover? You ain't got shit, bro. <laughs> uh, lovers in the bed sheets. Would you buy the lovers? Um, lovers, yeah, lover by Renee McGreef. Lovers, lovers in... Ugh. maybe, but I'd only put it on like on that piece of wall that's going up your stairs. Like no one's really looking at it, so maybe. <laughs> Okay, if you had to, right. Um, would you buy uh, anything G- by <laughs> Millie Brown? Cute piece, uh, no. No, cute piece, no. <laughs> okay. I, no, do you know oh, why I would buy it? Because I love how exploitive it is. It's it's absolute nonsense. And she's done <laughs> this piece of art and I'm going to be the schmuck that's going to spend a hundred grand on it. And if that's the case, yeah, I'm all for it. Viva, viva exploitation of, of stupid <laughs> uh, Yeah. Would you I'm buy on, Vincent to... Van Gogh's skull with the skeleton skull with skeleton skull with a cigarette in its mouth? That's not what it's titled, but that's what it, that's what it is. Yeah, but again, it still does <laughs> remind me of the cool dude at Wes. Uh, when yeah, yeah, 14, yeah, yeah. I know what you're talking. He's about. smoking a he, he's token a toke. Yeah, so smoking a really yeah. badly rolled cigarette, like a really oh, badly yeah, rolled yeah, cigarette. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, 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 it's falling apart, but he's it's still not even it's not even straight. Like, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's so still Louis cool, de Brock is <laughs> getting all the women. Uh, Louis de Brock oh, is painting of Samuel Beckett. Beckett, yeah, I love this. Samuel I really like this. Yeah, it's it. Well, it, okay. it's quite it's quite kind of dark and gloomy to look at, but yeah, no, it's very cool. I like it. Uh, would you buy Bono? Uh, <laughs> 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 no, Daisy Bono, like no, it's so weird to look at. Like, Daisy Bono, I mean, it's that's what it looks like, man. It looks like like Bono, but if he's like some sort of like Hindu Hinduism or like Buddhist, look at him. Do you know that kind of spiritual? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what you're him? talking about. Yeah, uh, I would buy it and put it into the guest bedroom just to creep out my guests. <laughs> <laughs> I can imagine staying at someone's house and you've got that just staring at you like. <laughs> and do you know what I do? That I'd, is um, so scary. I'd I'd alter just, the uh... I'd alter the eyes so that um they they had a slight glow in the dark features so they was always. Can you always imagine? Can you imagine? Out. Right? Can you imagine? You're just in your bed, right? And you just look up and you can see the painting, and then all you can oh hear. Oh my like, god! It's, it's it's dead. It's dead silent. All you can hear. It's is, a beautiful hello, day. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Hola. And it's just oh god. You'd be loving Bono. I don't and, know instantly. And it'd be like and it'd be like uh, what is it like every every Sunday morning you just get Sunday bloody sun. <laughs> <laughs> just going in through your headphones. <laughs> so Bono's a no. <laughs> he's, but, well, he's, he's a yes. A he's a yes, painting. and he's a no. 
is a yes and a no. I mean, I love the creepiness. Right. I love that it's the spiritual Bono. Like if yeah, nobody, if no, he'd be, if nobody, if no, if nobody else bid, that'd be Bono, would it? Yeah, 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 yeah. and yeah, it's going okay. in the guest bed. Nobody, if, just to creep out, to the to creep out the guests. <laughs> um, such a creepy painting. Uh, so, so now we're going to uh, uh, Mani Jellic. Did I, you buy the 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 version? Of I that, like this uh, more. I do like this more. It, I feel like it'd be too big for my house, but uh, I do like this more. The more I look at it, actually, the I didn't check how big the this shapes thing is. are appealing to me. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I this, this is this is it has a vast feel to it. Yeah, this would be my second favorite painting that I put in uh, to the slideshow. The, obviously, the the one at the end. Um, Oh, essence yeah, of freedom yeah. is my favorite but um this is i i think it's i just i don't know there's just something beautiful about it i love the way that st bridget and st patty are in it as well it's going oh. yeah maybe that did it for me but uh <laughs> um, um mark quinn's nah, bust of his nah, blood fuck head off. <laughs> fuck off like, just like, nah come on no it's, but you, you do think it's a good piece of art though it, it looks cool yeah yeah, yeah. but it's, yeah, sorry yeah. Barry, this is the thing so this is the thing i've kind of like said a few times it's the same when i talked to zach about music <laughs> I things make me feel things, you know. I I get the feelings, all right. I get them. Yeah. I don't understand the meaning behind it, so that's it. I, I get the feels, but I don't get it. <laughs> like, I, yeah, like I, this I, looks I, I, all right, I but I die. His whole like the fragility of life or whatever the hell he's trying to say. Fuck off, man. Come on, move on. Yeah, the deterioration of the self, I think, is kind of the 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 idea behind doing the self. Sorry, yeah. Because the the earlier ones when he's young, the the early ones of his of his young self, he actually looks like a pretty dapper lad, and then it, it goes on. You can kind of see all these just these little bits changing. It's it's interesting. But um, and the next one, uh, Eloy Morales, the the hyper realism painter. Would you buy this? Think how big it is, by the way, as well. Well, the head yeah, it wasn't too big. Uh, no. Uh, I uh, the fact that it's painted is cool. It is very impressive. Um, but I don't want that kind of is he Spanish or you know American Spanish, or yeah, Spanish. I think he's from staring. Barcelona. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah uh, what about uh, Jenny that. Savile's uh, hyphen? Would you buy hyphen? It's grown on me a little bit. Uh, yeah, no, it, uh, I feel like I, it's, do you know, the, the second photo you gave me for context, the, 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 yeah, one of the, the size. ladies. Well, I mean, obviously the size is ridiculous. So I'm never going to have a house that big. But oh, I, you I mean the, you mean the, the boobs? The booby ones. Yeah, yeah. I kind of like the booby ones more. Not because they're tits. Come on. Give me a bit of, give you me know, a she, she has a, she, she has a painting where it's her do body. Love tits, though? I think it's, I think, <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's, <joking>. it's, <laughs> oh you're gay um but uh the um she does have a painting of it's her body um with uh like in like you know fully nude like so breasts and genitals are are visible but it's it's her husband's head i think mm. it's a very odd painting it's like her oh, husband's weird. head is where her head should be it's very strange but um so next painting <laughs> yeah, would you buy damien hurst would you buy damien hurst mother fuck and child off. divided no, fuck off hurtsy hurtsy can get fucked man come on hurtsy and uh, finally would you buy marries uh Lebanese, Lee, what is his name lewandowski would you buy essence of freedom um, would you buy that painting i i really like it it's a hood. I put it in my hate but i do i do like it i like it a lot I don't know where I put it in my okay. gas there. So basically, you, nah. you, yeah. you, you'd buy you'd buy uh, Samuel Beckett and um, Manny Jellet. They're the two, and maybe maybe Bono. For Bono. <laughs> but it's funny you Bono pick the two. For... You pick the two Irish artists. Well, you know, man, I'm a patron of of the the national arts. You know me. I do. All right, well, man, I hope you enjoyed that. You do. You have a lot of art. That's why we what they decided this was going to be a good idea because you do actually have an interest in it. So can't fault you there. Yeah, like a misguided, weird interest. Yes. Ah, still an interest. You actually buy like uh, you got me to buy those. Um, was it Jando? Jando, isn't it? Jandos are very cool. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And if Jando, you got a Fraser one, yeah. The, the, Having got a Fraser one, I got the Jando ones now for mom and dad for their birthday. Um, they were presents mm. for them. They were lovely, lovely, lovely. I sent you, I've sent you that artist. Have I sent you that artist? It's, does the um, everyone everyone knows it? It's it's little birds, like little robins, blue tits, all that kind of stuff, and they're they're Dublin characters. 
You've definitely no. seen these, man. No, West, I haven't yeah, seen this. Uh, no, I haven't seen it. You've got to send it to me. I'll, I'll send it to you. No, no, they're brilliant. Like, it's like, I know, it's like a little bullfinch and it's pretending to be like uh, like a guard or someone's slip. Oh, yeah, oh what? They're brilliant. Yeah, yeah, they're class. Oh, no, oh, no yeah, I have to, see, I have like, to see that. And like, one's a pigeon and it's trying to sell you like pocket watches and shit like that. What? you you never seen? <laughs> I think it's a girl. No, I've never seen uh, this. I've never seen this. I know, I'll send it to you after this. But anyway, no, they're class. Yeah, We'll, we'll leave it up there. I hope you enjoyed yourself, man. Anyway, this was, I thought this was great fun. Like I had a class time doing this. I had a brilliant time. No, it's, uh, it's been very good. Uh, I've learned a lot. Uh, <laughs> and I doubt anyone's learned anything from me, but I've learned a lot and it's, uh, I've really enjoyed it. Really, well, really we can enjoyed. make it. I hope, a, I, hope a, I didn't upset um, anyone. Anyway. That's the only thing. I hope I didn't fucking upset anyone. Do you know, Our I shit, actually okay? specifically, I, <laughs> 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 I actually I, I didn't pick I, I tried to pick pieces that weren't too controversial that um they would upset anybody but also that we it's, wouldn't yeah, get in it's, trouble it's, it's, <laughs> yeah it's more the topics they're trying to address it's yeah. it's that's the so like I was going to pick I, yeah. I was going to pick I was going to pick Jake and Dino's Chapman who did a piece called Hell where it's like the Nazis are have Ronald McDonald being crucified outside of McDonald's but um we no we didn't go with that <laughs> Um, because nobody needs to see well, this. I'll say, yeah. I'll, and I, do you know the? Do you know what the funny thing was when I was like sixteen and seven? When I was, sorry, when I was seventeen and saw it for the first time, I thought it was hilarious. And look at it now and just go. I look at it now and just go. That's just that's just distasteful. But um, <laughs> I am assuming like the, the things we were into when you were sixteen or seventeen are. are oh are, man, like, the things that still, I found. You don't still. You don't still want to. Yeah, no, the thing. The things that I th- found funny when I was seven, because I think I was just trying to be an edgy teenager, going, Haha, "I find this funny," and I'm yeah, so interesting because no, I find this funny. No, you definitely did do that. Yeah, you definitely. Yeah, you did knew that. me when I was seventeen. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, did I did. That. I fucking did. Yeah, um, you 100 percent did that. You're like, yeah, look how weird this <laughs> yeah. is. I was like, all right, fuck off, man. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we'll leave it there. Um, thanks for coming on, man. Uh, that was good fun. Brilliant. Uh, thanks for having me, man. I had a lot of fun. No problem. I I I I'd be open to doing another one if you're up for it. Of course I am. I mean, as long as it doesn't damage your brand too much and you you still you're you're, you're progressing, you're you're hey, you know, I'm happy to do it. It's the ninth most listened to music podcast about music interview podcast in Ireland, apparently, according to a guy called Carlos, who sp- messaged me on my email. So it could easily be spam or bullshit, man. but I'm going with it. Good for Carlos. <laughs> Good for you, good for Carlos, man. It, it's great to yeah. it's great to see you get after it and do it, man. I've actually really enjoyed a lot of the podcasts you've done on this one. So, oh, well thanks, done. man. All right, well, thanks, man. We'll leave it there anyway. I'll talk to you later. Bye, bye.